Hello everybody, I'm Make Levels here, and welcome to my brutally honest three-ish minute mod review where I help you find the best of the best mods while hopefully avoiding the worst of the worst. Today we're taking a look back at Fatal Freight for Left 4 Dead 2. Let's see if I can do this without sounding too ass kissy. Fatal Freight is in a category alongside few other mods where a brand new player could maybe make the assumption that they're stock Valve maps. The quality is just that high. Each map is highly polished, Designed well, detailed well, well lit, contains a good spread of items with a good layout containing enough cues for players to know where they need to go, while being open enough and containing enough explorable pockets to hunt down items, and overall it's roughly the same length as official campaigns. This was their stated goal, to provide gameplay comparable to Valve campaigns, and I think they really hit the mark. I struggled for serious enough criticism to remark about in this review. They are... The maps kind of look aesthetically similar. Yeah, your well-designed, nicely polished, still fully enjoyable maps kind of look similar. On a scale of 1 to Deal Breaker, this is like a 1.7. Second, the finale was a tad on the easy side. I was hesitant to even bring this up because I would rather have a finale be on the easy side rather than deal with the 17 tanks that other mod authors are prone to throw at me. But there it is. 17 Tanks was slightly hyperbolic and sensationalist, but you get my point, right? It's just a good mod, plain and simple. If you like playing mods, play this mod. If you make mods, play this mod. If you've never played any Left 4 Dead 2 mods before, this is a great one to start with, but might probably ruin 9 out of 10 mods you play afterwards. What are we at, 2 minutes? I, I got nothing else. Just here, watch some cool stuff going on. Don't stop! 